All right, so at this point, we've got a complete copy of our production site, now local, that we can use as a development environment. What we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and upgrade our version of .NET Nuke. So on awesome.net at this point, I've got 5.5.1 running, and 5.6.1 is the latest version. So I've already gone out to the .NET Nuke website, and I've downloaded the upgrade package. I'm going to go ahead and extract that here, right over the top of my uh, my web matrix site that we've already downloaded. So this is actually going to replace all the files in my development environment with uh, the newest version. I'm going to tell it to copy and replace all the files. I'm going to tell it to copy and replace all the folders. It's going to go ahead and run through. It's going to extract all those files for me and replace all those files. All right, so it's completed that. Next step is going to be to go ahead and open up my website on my local machine or start my my site on my local machine and that's going to immediately kick off the upgrade wizard as part of .NET Nuke. So let's watch that happen here. Okay, so we click run. We're going to pick Internet Explorer. It's going to fire off our .NET Nuke install wizard. It's going through the upgrade. Now it's upgrading all our components. It's going to upgrade our database. It's going to do everything we need it to do. We'll sit back. We'll relax. Let it run through. Do its all, all its magic. The beautiful thing about this real fast is that if anything goes wrong my production site still beautiful, pristine, being used by everybody in the world. Right here, all right, it keeps running. Boom, it's done. All right, so we'll go ahead and scroll down a little bit. We're going to click here to access your portal. We'll click on that link real fast. That should bring up our development site in the browser. Let's see what happens. There it is. If you look at the top, you see localhost 42533. So that's running our local version. Let's go ahead and log into our site and make sure everything works the way it should. Logged in. Let's go to edit. Let's just edit some content real fast. Make sure everything's working the way it's supposed to be. Click edit content. Down here I've got uh, some content that says ASP Web Server Hosting. We do more ASP.NET hosting today than ASP, so let's go ahead and change that to ASP.NET Hosting. Scroll down, we're going to click Save. Should have clicked that Publish Changes button, forgot it. So let's just scroll down again. Make sure everything looks good, it does. Alright, there's the Publish button, we'll click that. Boom. Now we've published our content. So, again, this is only published on our staging and slash development site. So let's go ahead and open up our, we'll just, well let's test it real quick. Let's make sure the home page comes up the way it should. It's good. Should probably go out of here and log out of this. So let's go ahead and log out. Still looks good. Let's bring up our, our production site. Let's see what our production site looks like. Here's our production site. You can see that that web content down there still says ASP web server hosting, but we made those changes on our development site. So at this point, our production site and our development site are two completely different sites. Our production site has been left alone, has not changed. But in our development site, we've gone in and not only have we upgraded the version of .NET Nuke and upgraded the database, but we've also made changes to the content without impacting our production site. Let's go ahead and publish our development site. Let's make a production. We're happy with the content. So we're going to click Publish. We're going to select Go Ahead and Publish that database too. Go ahead and click this continue button. That's going to send up all of our files. It's going to make everything that's on our development site production now. All right, you can see at the bottom, publishing starting. Go ahead and let it run. It may take a couple of minutes to run. It may take a couple of seconds. It all depends on the size of our site. Boom, it's done. All right, let's just view our log real fast, make sure everything looks good. See all our files there. We go ahead and just check out our Database real fast, yeah, she's good. Click that OK button. All right, so everything looks good here. Let's go ahead and uh, bring up our browser. We'll go over to our production site. Let's reload our production site now. Let's see if that content changes when we re reload this. Might take a moment for that page to compile, so we'll give it a second. Okay, it's reloaded. Let's look down there. There you go. ASP.NET Web Server Hosting. So there you have it. We managed to use WebMatrix, create a development environment that would mimic exactly our production environment, pull down a copy of our production website and database, 
made changes to it, upgraded it, get it all working, tested, made sure everything was good, and then we used WebMatrix again, we clicked the publish button, it sent all those changes back to the production environment,